last video we showed you what can go wrong when you don't bunny proof very well. So we're going to show you our apartment and how we bunny proofed our living room that Dipper's in right now. So first, an X-Pin. We chose an X-Pin to keep him in at night so that he doesn't get into anything that he shouldn't unsupervised. So we've got his hay, his litter box, his hidey house, a bed, water bowl, tons of toys, fleece blanket. So he is set at night when we're asleep. Also, I mentioned we're keeping him in the living room right now. We're going to eventually free roam him. But right now we've got a baby gate up. And we haven't had any issue with it. Um, he probably could go under it if he really wanted to, but he hasn't tried. Um, just a little deterrent to keep him inside the living room. So couches, you wouldn't think but they present a lot of dangers for bunnies because they can get underneath your couch and there's a lot of things under couches they shouldn't get into. There's staples, there's nails, um, things that aren't safe for them to eat that they can chew on. They can even get inside your couch and do a lot of damage, get squished because you don't know they're in there and just set up a little nest. So we put boards underneath ours. We just attached them to the bottom of the couches on either side so that he can't fit underneath there. Also, we did a lot of cord protector. Here we have Raceway because that's where he started chewing on the wires last time because they were just laying on the floor at his chew level. And then we blocked off so he can't get behind our entertainment center. So we have bins that he would chew on, but behind them we put boards so that he has no access if he gets past our bins. We also had small uh, cords for our speakers that were really too small for cord protector. So we just taped them with clear plastic tape to the ground. He doesn't pull at the tape, he doesn't do anything to it. He just kind of ignores it now. So that's easy to do with your small cords. This we have just typical cord protector on. because we couldn't use Raceway to get it up here. But it's at such an angle that he's not gonna try to chew on it. It's too, too uh, high up for him to reach it. And then since we work from home, we have a lot of laptop wires that we just put in here. So he can't get to them. Um, so that's what we've done. <laughs> He's trying to get back there now. <laughs> Our last form of bunny proofing we did was just a distraction. He's not going to get into trouble if he's got plenty of toys. Which he's got. He's not a bored bunny. Also, we've got our plants up on our windowsill so that he can't get into them. He cannot reach them, no matter how hard he tries. And a lot of plants are toxic to bunnies if they get into them. Plus, they'll just chew them up and destroy them, even if they're non-toxic. Um, there's lots of other things we can do. Um, a lot of bunnies will chew baseboards. 
And something you can do for that is use like a scented ivory soap and just rub it on your baseboard. No one will be able to see it, but that smell can deter them. Also, you can buy a really, really stinky perfume. It can't be like a body spray or anything. It has to be actual perfume so that it stays on. But just like a dot of perfume every few feet will deter them from chewing it as well because their noses are so sensitive. Uh, another thing is they may chew wood furniture. We haven't had an issue with that yet, but the same thing, you can put a dot of perfume on it. If it's real skinny, like the wood of a dining room chair, you can just put a toilet paper or um, paper towel roll over it so that they'll have cardboard rather than wood. Bunnies love to chew on and destroy our rugs. Uh, he hasn't done too much to this rug we had already. Um, he just started to chew on it and we told him no and he got the picture. Um, we've got fleece blankets in his pen because he doesn't really mess with that. He'll dig at it, but it's a cheap replacement if he does destroy it. Um, cotton rugs are also good because they're a natural fiber that they can digest. They do chew a bit of it while you're asleep at night, um, unsupervised. Jute is another one that's natural. The only thing with that is it's going to attract them to chew on it because it's like their uh, rope chews. It's similar uh, texture. So this cotton bun that we got at Target, it's trying to get behind the entertainment center, had lots of fringes on it. While it is cotton, we didn't want him to chew too much of it and get too much in his digestive tract. So I cut all those fringes off. Um, the only thing is, once I washed them, some of these knots came undone, so I had to re-trim them a little bit. Uh, but they're like 10 bucks, 12 bucks at Target, and we got five of them, and they're very replaceable. Also, we just got this little bunny house for him. It's actually a cat house. But it has this uh, cushion built into it, and he's had another one like that that he ended up chewing into because uh, we didn't know to watch out for that. So that's one thing we're going to have to keep an eye on, and once he does it, we'll just replace it. And it was like three bucks at Ross. So that's one more thing you gotta supervise. Um, this, we got at Aldi. We bought it new and it had a wall there. But Dipper decided he wanted to tear down that wall. Um, also, that was flat at one point in two different pieces. But he tore up one of them and decided he likes them stacked better. So this is a good one. He doesn't, uh, we watched him, he doesn't eat the cardboard. He just rips it up and you can find it on the floor all over. We do keep an eye on him, but that's a really good distraction toy for him. Um, it's like eight bucks at Aldi. So this is gonna be featured in one of our upcoming videos. It's gonna be one of our DIYs. I found it at Goodwill, but we're gonna repaint it and we're gonna use it for something for Dipper. So stay tuned for that. Hit the notifications and subscribe so that you get notified when it's done and see what we did.